This was a beautiful country, and I hate to see it just totally become a sacrifice area for some damn company's bottom line. Coal companies, they're used to making lots of profits, and their profits are going down significantly, so they need new markets, and the new markets are in Asia. The closest way from Montana to Asia is through our backyards and through our ports here in the Northwest. Asia gets the energy, coal companies get the profits, Montanans are stuck with the tab. A coal mine here would come very close to destroying our culture. I just can't believe that they think that they could buy us out like that. Like, we don't care about the land. If all of these proposals that are on the table right now get built, the impacts to climate change and the greenhouse gas emissions would actually be significantly more than those of the Keystone Pipeline. Anytime we start going after big players by changing relative prices, we are transferring wealth. As an economist, that's okay. As a politician, it's going to be horrible. The new norm in weather just seems to be record snows, record droughts, snow in June. We're in a drought situation that you can relate back to shipping coal, but a lot of people don't make that connection. That coal has to stay in the ground. You can't make the math of climate change work at all if you get huge coal deposits of the Powder River Basin out and pour them into the atmosphere. There's 120 of those trains a day back and forth, loaded and then empty. Mr. Peabody's coal train is carrying Wyoming away. To make these coal export proposals work, it's, a, it's going to be a tremendous amount of capital needed to build the ports, to improve our infrastructure for the railroads. That's the kind of money that should be going into building our clean energy economy. The cost of, of energy from, from wind farms in Montana is actually less than it is from coal-fired power plants, even existing ones. It's too late to stop global warming, but keeping it from getting any worse than it has to remains not only possible, it remains the greatest human task ever. The coal companies need to turn around and pack their bags and go back home because they're not coming through here. We're saying no to coal because it's a dead end. We know the solution, we know renewables work, and it's time to embrace them. I say let's get to work on that. Let's create the clean energy economy.